I was at a gig the other night. And I started thinking about musical punctuation. The same way we punctuate a sentence, we can punctuate our fills with different endings. So take for instance, with grammar, if we're saying a sentence, we can use a question mark, a period, or an exclamation point. Statement. The guitar is too loud, man. Question. The guitar is too loud? Yeah. <laughs> like every gig. Every gig it's too loud. Exclamation point. The guitar is too loud! It's like a tsunami flood of guitar store licks that is constantly drowning the audience. You are literally killing them, man! Gah! Far too often, we think about the content of the fills, but we don't think about exactly how we're going to get out of them and how that affects the listener that's listening to the song. So the same way that we end our sentences and our phrases with periods, with exclamation points, with question marks, we can do that in our playing. Now, to give you an example, if I wanted to end a fill with a period, I would probably use some type of a dry sound or a very short sound, like this. Now on the flip side, what if I wanted to end it with a question mark? I might do something like this and leave a little space at the end of the fill. And lastly, what if I wanted to use an exclamation point? Well, to me, crash symbols are exclamation points. So I would probably hit my crash symbol at the end of the phrase, as if I were segueing into a chorus or into another verse. I know what you're saying. You're saying, Stephen, are you saying there are a bunch of rules that I have to follow when it comes to ending my fills? No, absolutely not. There are no rules. That's what's so great about music. But what I as a teacher want to make sure you're doing is thinking all the way through that fill, all the way to the point of how am I going to get out of it? Am I going to use a crash symbol? Am I going to use my hi-hat and just close it real quick? Am I going to use my snare? Am I going to put no crash there and then crash in on two? I want you to consciously make that musical decision before you get to the point that it needs to happen. There are times where you may want to make an exclamatory statement and not use an exclamation point. We do that all the time when we're talking. Honey, that outfit looks horrible. Now, after you've picked yourself up off the floor, you'll realize that was a really exclamatory statement to her, but you didn't say it in an emphatic way, so you didn't need to put an exclamation point there. We can do the same thing with our playing. In the same way, we can also use an exclamation point whenever we're speaking just to emphasize something. So it doesn't have to be that where you're shouting, you can use it in the middle of a paragraph like, sweet, yes, awesome, skittles. That's what that is. You're using an exclamation point, but you're not really using it as emphatically as you would as if you were screaming at someone. So what's the point of this lesson? The point is not that there is a rule book that you have to follow on how to end your fills, 
The point is that I want you consciously thinking about how am I going to end this fill? How am I going to wrap up this musical statement? Because we are musicians, despite what your other band members may say, you are a musician and it is important that you think about the structure of the song. That includes how you will start and end your statements. Don't miss next week on the YouTube channel. Monday, I'll be answering questions. If you have one, put it below here. Maybe I'll answer it and you'll be featured in the video. Later in the week, I'll have a video of me with an artist at SIR Studios doing some rehearsing and getting ready for performances, as well as a review of a really cool product that I came across at PASIC. If you haven't downloaded your free lesson pack, 30 Days to Better Doubles, probably the dumbest move you've ever made, you should go do that right now. The link is below this video. And if you're interested in taking your drumming one step further, jump over to the website. I live stream drum lessons there five times a week, have a whole student area with over 500 pre-recorded lessons, including sheet music with every lesson. And last but not least, jump over to Facebook, hang out with us on the Facebook page. Over on Instagram, I'm posting one sticking, one video a day for 100 days. It's been a blast. I just finished day 30 and I got 70 more to go. I can't wait. And if not, I'll see you in the next video.